What is going on, people? I am back for another movie review. Uh, this one I got in the mail today. I ordered it off eBay, and uh, this one's actually pretty rare. It's uh, out of print right now. I spent, you know, not the most money I ever spent, but I spent a good amount on this one because supposedly uh, there's only a thousand of these made uh, or printed out by at least uh, Code Red. Uh, what is it? Code Red, uh, I think it's Productions or something, but, uh, supposedly there's only a thousand of these things made, so, I'm like, you know, l let me get it. I knew nothing about it, I saw trailers here and there, but I did not know much about it. I just got done watching it now, but that movie is called Savage Streets. Um, it's directed by, uh, Danny, Danny Steinman, uh, Writing credits, uh, Norman Yonemoto and uh, Danny Steinman. Uh, again, if I say names and I'm horrible with them, you know, I apologize for anyone who's a big fan. Or if they happen to see this, I apologize for screwing up your name tremendously. But uh, it stars Linda Blair. It's got uh, John Vernon. It's got uh, Linnea Quigley. It's got uh, Sal Landy, uh, among other people. So pretty much what this is is uh, Linda Blair plays Brenda. Um, she's, you know, this v very lively girl. She's a part of this group called the uh, Satins. Uh, Linnea Quigley plays her sister Heather, who is pretty much a, a, a deaf-mute girl. She has problems. So pretty much, you know, uh, Linda Blair's character kind of just, you know, watches out for her uh, really... Uh, you know, all the time. She's a protective sister. Um, they end up running into this group called the Scars, who are these four guys that are, you know, pretty much bad news and stuff. And, um, you know, they're messing with a whole bunch of people in the beginning. They go after a guy for some money and mess with him and his girlfriend. Uh, they end up running into Linda Blair and her satins, as they're called. Uh, and to get back at them, Linda Blair steals their, you know, car. And uh, they end up trashing the car. Not like, you know, running it into a wall or anything, but pretty much taking garbage cans and throwing the trash into the car. So pretty much it's not total or anything. It's still drivable. It's just they pretty much messed it up. Um, so this group of guys, the Scars, pretty much go after Linda Blair and her group. Uh, they end up finding Heather, which is her sister, played by Linnea Quigley. Uh, they find her at the high school and pretty much, you know, rape her and, and leave her for dead kind of deal. So she's fighting for her life and Linda Blair's, you know, very upset and everything And once she finds out. And, um... One of her friends in the Satins, uh, you know, um, is getting married and they mess with her. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, Linda Blair turns into like, you know, vengeance. I don't even know. She she gets the pos possessed by the exorcist and then again and, you know, goes after these guys uh, with full out vengeance. She has all these different weapons and such. You know, it's a very entertaining movie. The movie came out... 1984 so you get your you know i'm actually listening to i don't know if you can hear it but uh um you know the soundtrack to it is very you know 80s ish it's got some 80s cheese in it uh when i looked it up when i found it on ebay uh you know i was just making sure that it is out of print and if i was going to pay the price and uh i looked at it and saw it on one um what do you want to call it one website and it didn't have it listed as like a horror movie. This is more of an action movie, according to them. Uh, it has its, you know, uh, its gory scenes, gory parts. Uh, it is 84, so you don't have that much. I mean, besides the, you know, uh, George A. Romero and stuff. I mean, they were full out horror, so you got a lot of gore. This has its its bits and pieces, but pretty much this is more of an uh, vengeance movie, I guess you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed it a whole bunch. I like these, you know, getting back at someone who wronged you kind of deal in any way you can. Uh, it is funny seeing Linda Blair actually being the one to uh, to do it. Uh, you know, I rem remember her from, uh, what is it, um, The Exorcist and then uh, Repossessed with uh, Leslie Nielsen. So seeing her in this one definitely, you know, is a step up and... I'd say if you haven't seen it, if you have a ways to get it, because I did pay 
around 40 bucks for this but again it's out of print hard to find so um you know maybe the price will go up at some point if uh you know some of them go missing or something but um i say go ahead check this one out if you haven't already if you're a big fan of the 80s action 80s revenge kind of movies this one would definitely be for you so uh yeah hopefully uh you enjoy my review uh if you want anything reviewed go ahead check out my youtube uh my uh, Instagram, where I post a whole bunch of movies. If there's something there that you want reviewed, uh, let me know because I'm, you know, enjoying this whole uh, reviewing s videos that I'm doing. So if you like my review, if you want to know more, if you want to, you know, like I said, uh, have a certain movie reviewed, let me know. If I don't have it, I'll find ways to get in it. And uh, yeah, I guess until the next one, I'll see you.